all right what's up youtube we're back with a video it's hot you know it's been warm right so i can't really sleep so we're making another vid because i was happening to look at the comments that some people leave and some people are like they don't really think what they say before they post a comment like this guy said Oh, why would you list a card on eBay knowing that you're only going to make 10p off it? Now, nah, now nah, let me explain something because a lot of people are getting a misconception and they're not reading of what they say, right? So, basically, right, I'm going to use this piece of paper. It's an envelope, but, um, you know, we'll write it down on this because people don't seem to get it, right? Now, when you used to sell a card... Right, let's say £1.50. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because low-value items are your key to mega-fast sales, right? It's units sale, sold, right? So, like, let's say you can make an item, right? If you can sell 100,000 units and make a pound per every item that you sold, right, you'd make £100,000, right, as on how fast it would be. Now, my mate buys vapes right now he buys vapes right vapes obviously people smoke they're addicted to nicotine right so me and my mate was running the numbers of where he buys his vapes from right so let's say for example he gets a vape for say a cost value two pound fifty right but then tesco is selling them for six pound yeah they're selling them for six pound and he's getting a cost of £2.50, right? So that's what he's getting his cost at. So he gets one single vape for £2.50, right? Now, let's just explain this before I explain it into the £1.50 cards so you actually know what I'm on about. Because most people will sit there and think, oh, yo, why would you sell that if you're only going to get 5p? Well, it didn't used to be like that, is what we're trying to explain, yeah? Right? So, for example, right, he gets a, he gets a vape £2.50, right, stock cost. So, Tesco is selling them for £6 each, right? But the distributor is owned by Tesco, right? The distributor he gets them from now or is owned by Tesco. So, Tesco is selling these units, the wholesale, at £2.50 a unit, right? And then in the store, they're selling them to £6 to the public, so they're essentially making £3.50 every single sale, right? You see what I mean about price to profit margin, right? Is this is what they're doing at us, right? So I says to him, well, there's people on eBay selling these things at fucking £3, right? So after working out the fees and the fucking shipping cost, we was like, well, this fucker's not even making money. If he's selling them at that price, right? So, this is where the mind of others gets twisted, right? Because another individual who looks at that listing and says, Yo, my man's selling them at three pound, right? He is going to be getting them, right? He's going to be getting them at, say, three pound, right? So, if you get them at three pound, you know full well that Tesco is selling them at six. So you could be like, well, fuck Tesco because Tesco is a billionaire business and they rip off the public and, and fair play, like, they are a rip off. And, you know, I don't really shop there, but um, I'm big against, like, shopping in some of these supermarkets because, you know, I'd rather support a small business, right? So, um, you know, if you're selling them at four pound, you're making a pound profit. Right now, you might go, well, it's a bit, a bit shit making a pound, right? But if you know loads of people that smoke and you can move them, right, you're making money, right? So now we're gonna spin this back in, so you see greed, and and you know that's what they're doing, right? They're being greedy. So you know vapes disposables might be getting banned, right? So let's put it this way. So a £1.50 Pokemon card, right, used to be a £1.50 sale. Now, when the stamp was 65 pence, right, on eBay, right, you, the stamp was 65p in the shop, which was probably less than, I don't know, 17, probably 17, 18 months, 
right? I go. So let's say in the last two years. So in the last two years, right? They've raised the price by 10p. Let's say they've raised the price by 10p every year. So 10p and then 10p, right? Which we're not going to see that this time. We're going to see it go up more than that, right? But we're going to see it go up another 15, right? It's going to a pound. So this is why it's kind of shit, right? Because when this stamp was 65 pence, if you went on eBay and purchased that specific item, let me just see if I, my mic's actually fucking working on the vid. Yeah, it is, right? So you could get the stamps for around 35p to like 50 pence, right? You could get them as low as that. So if you were selling a common card from a booster pack, let's say £1.50, or let's just say you got this reverse holo, right, from a, a, a booster pack, right? You could sell this card, right, and you would you would net back, and let's see what I mean, net back. Individually, you would get money back, right? So if you opened it from a pack at your cost, right? So you would net back around between 35p and 40p 45p a common now i used to get even more than that when i used to sell because i used to get stamps off a, a guy i used to get stamps off sick right and i don't know where he used to get them from right but i used to get originally like 50p a reverse right so you sell this item 50p and you open a booster pack for say three quid if you're a pleb and you don't have any other way of getting any other money right for example like you're not a dividend investor and you get free dividends every month or you get paid out or you get payments right you invest in a stock that pays out 20 percent if you put 100 pound in it yeah you're gonna get 20 quid you see what i mean but if you put the money in the bank and the bank only pays you five percent or four percent then you're only gonna get you know, three pound on hundred quid, right? So you're not really going to get a lot, or four pound, right? If you want to work it out like that, right? To be exact, so the dividend is going to pay you all your money. With the Pokemon card, you're going to get fifty pence. So let's say you're getting fifty p back a common right on this on this one pound fifty, right? Now the price. Of this, right, so let's see the stamp. The stamp's gone up 20 pence, right? So the stamp's gone up to 85. So originally, you was netting this 35p. This would be, this would be, on paper, your solid money back. Yeah, this would be your 35 pence, a common card. So you sell this on eBay for £1.50. You would literally net back 35 pence when the stamp was 65p. But if you did a little digging and got your stamp a little bit cheaper buying off other people instead of buying from the shop or buying from the post office, you would get a discount, right? Now, essentially, employees who used to work at Royal Mail over the Christmas time usually get a, a big bag of stamps, right, for working that Christmas stamp. Oh, thank you for working at Royal Mail over the busy period. Here is, you know, £50 worth of stamps, for free, right? So around Christmas time, you would always find on eBay there'd be somebody selling these stamps, let's say 50, 60 stamps or 100 stamps for half of the value. The reason why is because they got them for free and they didn't need to use them. So for someone who would come along and be like, oh, yo, that's a bargain, bro. They're like, they work out to be like 30p a stamp. You know, you're shipping a £1.50 card. Your, your profit or your, your your return on your money back of your cards that you got or if you were buying bulk off somebody or if your mate had a load of cards and he was like, I gave 20 quid for all of them and he's got 100 reverse hollows. You're thinking, yo, well, that's all right if I can sell them, right? So you would essentially net back that money fast, right? So you would get your money back a lot quicker on them items because your cost now is lower, right? So when they raise the price to 85p and then eBay up the fee, right? So eBay up the fee, right? Now, 
you're walking away off a £1.50 sale with on paper 10 pence. Now, the reason why I say on paper is because a stamp value is 85 pence, right? Now, a letter costs us 3 to 4p, right? And a sleeve, if you use a sleeve or a bit of packaging, like, you know, some people ship with top loaders. And, and if you're making, if you're shipping with a top loader, you're losing money anyway. Because that's what everyone used to ask me before. Oh, why didn't you lose top loaders? Because a top loader would work out to be like 10p each or, you know, 15p each. And if you was doing that on every single item, look how much money you're losing, right? So, you know, and, and for someone who's sat here like me and I've done this and I've sold thousands of cards right and i've always knew that this was the best this was the best seller this was the best thing you could move because it was so cheap your buyer pool is massive yeah where if you've got one kid who's got a hundred pound at the end of the month to buy one card right and he goes because most people blow all the money right that's what essentially everybody does they get the paid and they blow it all right because some people have the excuses of, oh, well, they can't, I can't save any money. Well, you know, you can, but you just, you choose not to, right? So if they're going to buy a PSA card at £100 and they've only got £100 to spend, your target of aiming at this specific individual goes down, right? The higher the value. Because then you need somebody who's got disposable money, like, like basically fucking like this, right? Like this. Right? You see, the amount of fucking people that's got £1.50 or £2 to throw away, or this guy's got, or even £100, this guy's got £200, £300, £400, and this guy's got £500. So your people that might have 500 way disposable income might be this big. Your people that have got 10 or £20 to dispose of every month is fucking massive. So you could say this 150,000 people. You know, there's a guy who fucking explained this on YouTube many times ago. Even in Valfrey, Alfred Investments has touched on this many times when I used to watch his old videos. I haven't watched the guy for about eight, nine months. But he was explaining this exact thing. Like, if you've got a Black Lotus and it's a million pound or a million dollars, you're only looking for someone who's got a million dollars to buy that card. If, you're, if you've got a card that's, say, 30 quid or 30 dollars, you're looking at, say, well... It's fucking probably 200, 300, fucking 500,000 people. Probably maybe 5 million people in America that have got $30 to spend. So essentially, you're going to find someone who wants that item. You are guaranteed to find someone who wants that item. So when that £1.50 card, right, you're selling now and you're making that 10p, right, you're making that 10p back, it's still a fast sale, right? Is, is this what people seem to forget? It's still a fast sale. It still moves fast. Now, I can list a card on eBay for in 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I can put one of them cards on. I can sit there and put, what, 30, 40 cards on within, like, 20 minutes, right? And it's just rapid because I've got a light box. I've got an auto camera set up. It's like, bam, bam. Yeah, you use the, t the single listing tool on eBay or the easier listing tool, right? You add two photos. You, you copy and paste the title. So you've already got the title before you've even... Because you just search the listing... You just search for someone who's already got it, copy and paste it, put it in, done, right? Add the photos, bam, sell it, that's it. Walk away from the PC, boom, done. Very fast. I don't use a phone. Like, I know people, I know one of my one of my mates who's a, a subscriber to the channel, he only uses his phone to list items, so he don't list anything at items like that. My mate see me before when he, I was putting items on, he's like, bro, you're absolutely insanely fast at this. I was like, yeah, I know. You do 10 cards in like less than two, three minutes. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's rapid, yeah? But people like, this guy was like, well, why would you even post a card on there if it's 10p? Well, that's, no, that's not the point. Because even though on paper it's 10p, it's not 10p right now if you're getting your stamps cheaper. If you're netting a stamp at, say, 75p a, a card, a 75p a stamp, which I've been getting them around this price and a bit lower, right? You are essentially making still, like, 25p a common right you're still technically getting 25p back a common but people don't want to put that fact in to going on internet and then saying oh you know what 
just have a quick look by your stamps, you know, you might be sat outside in the sun, do you know what I mean, you'd be like, oh mum, let's see if there's any stamps on it, just a quick look, but it's, you can make so much money from your phone, it is incredible, like, you, you know, all you need is a phone and internet, and you can make money, right, it's, as, as mad as that sounds, it, people don't even realise that that is what you can do, right, so what I'm trying to say is, when you've got the correlation of the price, right, the correlation of the price, so let's say, all right, the stamp's gone up 20 pence, right, so it's £1.85, no, so 85p, where the stamp used to be 65p, now, you, right, so your stamp's, your stamp's gone up 20 pence, right, so now you've raised your price 20 pence, so essentially, if you sell an item at £1.70, at the price being that 85p, that becomes the golden era of where you were making like 35p a card, right? So, you know, you'd be make yeah, you'd be making 35p an item. So this is now your golden price to be getting 35p back a common. Now you sell what three commons? That's a pound, yeah. You sell 10 commons, you know, is three back three quid, right? So. You know, three pound goes towards off that box, right? And then if you use, if you get cashback rewards and you're buying stamps consistently and you're using your card for everything, well then you can rack up another two, three percent on top of that, right? So it it does become worth it if that makes sense, right? Because you know people don't think, oh yo, well, why would you do that, right? It's time and effort. But most people, if you sit there, like put it this way. We, me and my mate, it was it. We're making this discussion. People who sit there and watch football for an hour and a half, right? Essentially, if they was at a job working, a minimum wage job, they would get twelve pound an hour. So within that hour and a half, if they're not making eighteen pound, right, they're kind of wasting their time. Because if you're not making money, why are you doing nothing, right? Like even off investments or you know. Whatever. If you're not getting, if you're not getting money, while you're sat around doing nothing, right? Like you're you're sat around. Let's say you're sat around for eight hours a day and you're unemployed. There's someone making eighty ninety pound, while you're sat around doing nothing. So if you can make eighty ninety pound from your phone, right, a day, then that guy is it working? Who's the winner? You're the winner because you're the one making the money from the phone, not. From, you know, this is why, like, these OnlyFans girls are making, like, four million, four million a month. Do you know what I mean? That's insane. Like, they're making four million a month. And they're making money from the phone. Because all they're doing is posting photos. And they're having losers buy their subscription fees. Right? So, you're getting £1.70, right? Off this item. But what I'm trying to say to you is... What I'm trying to say in the video, of the last video... People don't want to pay this. They don't want to pay that. They don't want to pay £1.70 for a sticker. Yeah? Or a card. Or even a reverse. Or even just a general hollow. That... Let's say, for example, like... A hollow. So I got this hollow from a pack earlier. Because I got this card. Right? That's worth, like, £18 on eBay. It was last recent sale. Right? And then I opened another pack... And then I got this Tarakion hollow. Now this is the pull. This is the hit from the pack. Like, do you know what I mean? So, how can the hit from the pack be a pad? If if this is selling in a card shop, if you walk in a card shop physically, and then you physically say, "Oh, yo, well, the cards are panned," then you'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll pay a pound for it." Like, you know, a, a book, a dollar. Like, you're gonna pay a dollar for it, right, in a card store, because. If you open a four pound pack and you get a dollar card and you need a dollar card for a deck, then essentially you're going to buy the dollar card at the shop, right? But then you buying that on eBay and you posting that, you have to pay postal charge. Now, I remember TCA Gaming when TCA Gaming turned around and he said that single cards, the fucking, the problem was when he was stop selling them, because he did stop selling single cards, single cards used to be his fucking biggest winner, right, uh, back when he beat, when he was growing, uh, as where he got to now, and then obviously invest all his money in PSA, don't it, but he's in America, so America's got a, 
a wider proportion of people to sell to because Pokemon's made in America. That's the thing. It's an American game. Like, you look at sports and you look at anybody outside the United States, don't give a fuck about any other sports apart from baseball. Baseball is the biggest sport ever. And it's, it's, no one gives a fuck at, uh, the Americans don't care about football. Like, England is football crazy. The football mad. Like, you try and bring baseball cards into England, well, there's no professional baseball teams. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So no one gives a fuck about that other than Americans. Americans are like, yo, baseball, NFL's on, bam, bam. You know what I mean? That's why Mickey Mantle was such a famous fucking dude. Do you know what I mean? Because no one gives a fuck about baseball other than the Americans. All right? Because it's an American, it's an American game, yeah? Like, the UK version used to be called Rounders, isn't it? Right? So, when TCA was selling these single cards, he knew that it was becoming a problem when his stamps were, because he was getting his stamps cheap. And I used to get my stamps cheap. Now, because you can't, it's getting difficult, right? Because, you know, the stamps you get now, right? Like, these stamps are first-class stamps, right? And they come on sheet. And what you do is you pull them off and then you have to either lick them or stick them down with glue, right? Because, you know, they're old. And sometimes the self-sealing goes on them and this is what you'd stick down. But these are not the stamps that are used now by Royal Mail. They're used by the barcodes, right? So when they scan the barcode, the stamp is finished, yeah? So essentially, you'll get stamps like this. This is what I used this tin for. I didn't even send him his tin back and stamp like the item, right? So you get a 13p stamp, right? Or Royal Mail did the swap out feature on the other stamps, right? Where you would get these ones, right? And then these are 5p. So all the clean heads did the swap parts. So you can find swap parts cheaper than the value of the swap part stamp. You know, I was getting a lot of them off this woman, Right, and she was doing like, and then you get these like kits that you could basically stick 28p, like a 28p, you know, 13p, and a 5p, and you could still get cheap stamps like that. So, your stamps that that initially that 35 pence that you were getting a common, right? Because as I know, people are lazy, right? Because you could make 35p a common card, right? Sell free, that's a quid, that's a pound off your next box. So if you're broke and you're not just going to sell your, you know, or you haven't got time, you might have three, four kids running around, right? So you might not have time to just quickly just bang this on eBay, boom, get rid of it, right? Where I'll probably list this one on eBay just because in the next six months it'll be finished. You won't be able to sell these anymore, like, because no one will pay £2 for them. So what I'm trying to say is people won't pay £2 for this, this reverse hollow. They expect you... To be able to buy this at a pound. Because there's another seller. Who's selling it at a loss. Now. They don't need to be selling this item at a loss. It, there's no point of them actually selling it at a loss. Because. Why would you just not bin the card. Or give the card away. When someone spends like 10 or 15 pounds. Like encourage someone to spend more money. So then you could say. Well you know what. If you spend this much money. We'll give you a load of free items. Right for like a deck boosting. What what kind of deck are you after playing? Are you playing a, a you know a green deck, a leaf deck, a, you know, an, a a colourless deck? What what's your you know? And you send a message with your order, and you're like, ah, be great to get some like cool little cards I can play the game with. And you'd be like, all right, send him some reverse hollows. Bum 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 bum. Right, job done. Like, you know, this is weakness to fire, but there's a fire Pokemon or a Pepper or breathing fire. That's just silly, right? This weakness should be weakness to fighting, but... Oh, well. That's Pokemon for you. So, this is my take on this. is why I'm explaining this is what it's about, right? And people went, Oh, well, you know, that's mad that you put a video up. Like, it's, it's the plain and simple explanation, yeah? On how you make money, right? In an effective way to recover money back, right? Now... Most people would just be like, well, you know, you can grade a card, right? Look at, look at a PSA card, right? PSA 9s right now are not worth anything. 
It, you can't, you're struggling to sell them at £20, right? But the grading fee is £14, right? So you go, your grading fee is 14 and you sell it on eBay, they take a fee, which is like £3. Your shipping, which is signed for mail, because, you you know, if you don't send signed for, they'll say, ah, didn't receive it, and they'll scam your ass, right? So... That's the three pound gone, right? Now you could have paid five pound for the raw. So if you buy the raw, you say you buy the raw, this this one cost me ten, right? So if you buy this, I'd say ten pounds, you grade it for say fourteen, and that's twenty-four cost, right? You know you've got to ship it for three pound, which you know is push gonna push it to twenty-seven. You know your eBay fee is going to be three pound, even if you sell it for thirty. So if you want to make a profit, or you know you got this out, you might have bought this for ten pounds, or you might have got it out of a box that you paid more for. So if you get it out of a box that you paid fifty pound for, if you don't essentially sell the best item from the item that you broke, right, or you broke down the box, and you don't sell it for say sixty, seventy quid. You're not even going to make anything. So what I'm trying to say is, is people looking at this hobby here, uh, like these people are making massive amounts of money. But they're not. Like, this guy, so my mate's obviously got, you know, a, a business. He's got a, bur he's got a burger van, right? He sells burgers, potatoes, jacket potatoes, lots of shit, right? And there was another guy, you come up to his business and he says, bro, you must make beer money. And he goes, well... You gotta spend ten grand if you want to make a thousand. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, and the guy's like, what? Well, yeah, you gotta buy all your ingredients. You gotta pay the fucking rent of the, the building that you're in, right? You gotta pay, the staff. Yeah, you gotta pay for the produce, right? And then you got a, f you know, <laughs> you gotta pay for a cleaner or something to clean up, right? Or whatever. You know, if you're a restaurant, like a restaurant, look how many restaurants shut down last year, right? An insane, massive one shut down last year that was, was supposed to be making so much money. People believe that this place was making so much money, it closed down because it was making a loss, right? Well, the public believe it's making money, right? You see, there's a nightclub in my town, right? And it closed down in February, right? around February, and they said, due to the rising cost of living, right, so like the rising cost, like, you know, you got to charge five, six, like, if any of you is watching my video that goes out partying, right, and you got to pay five, six pounds to get in a club to go out partying, like, yo, yo, dancing, bro, you know, and you go out and you pay five, six pounds to get in, there's a reason why they're charging five, six pounds to get in, because they've got to pay the rent of the building and there's not there's not enough profit in the alcohol why do you think you can buy a bottle of vodka at the supermarket for a tenner right well to go in a club it's costing you 14 pound a drink because they've got to pay staff you have to pay the rent of the building you have to pay the fucking electric do you know what i mean like there's there's no one like just that's what i mean like people who are not business minded don't know fuck all they really don't they just believe that you know you put money in the bank you add you add money to it and you minus money. They don't know anything, right? And that and that's the take on the vid, right? So, if you watch the video, fucking comment. You, you you watch the video and you like the video, whatever. Like the video, fucking comment. Instagram me on YouTube or what you know on Instagram. Message me on there, right? If you want, fucking send me a DM, right? Because this is what it's about. Right, it's about how fast you can make money back and roll the money back into something else. Right? Because essentially now this is essentially another topic, right? Just real quick. Because I could have made this in a couple of videos, but let's just get rubber slab of cards, right? So let's say you get 35p back for this, 35p for this, 35p for this. That's a pound, right? You sell these free cards, you get another pound. You sell these free shit cards, you get another pound. And you go get these free shit cards for another pound, right? So you got, like, let's say a fiver, right? You got five pound. Now you go on eBay, you go find a fucking card that someone just ripped from a booster pack, yeah? They've just ripped it from a booster pack, 
you know it's, it's a PSA 10 you buy it you get it you get your buyer's card it's going to be a PSA 10 right you bought it you, you're that sick at grading right you got five pound card you just put that in a slab right you got PSA 10 and you sell it for 50 quid right you sell it for 50 pound right that means now nah, you turn this shitty money that was in these shitty cards and you made profit and now you made profit do you see what i mean so you rolled that fucking money into an item that now made you money right and these items that were shit and you'd have never got any item money for it right that's what it's about so when people go oh well what's this card about you grade for 10p when it didn't used to be 10p it used to be 35 right thanks for watching the video and i'll see you next time peace